ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show, I'm your host Robert. Alright, USFO week three, yeah, we are three weeks in already. Alright, week two, it's three and one against the spread, two and two against, or sorry, three and one on the overall picks, two and two against the spread, three and one on the over under, year to date, six and two with straight up picks, four and four against the spread, and three and five on the over under, 13 and 11. I ended with the XFL at a little over 50%. So, eh, um, better than under 50%. All right, so we have the New Orleans Breakers 2-0 going against the 2-0 Birmingham Stallions. One versus two in the South Division. Um, Birmingham, or New Orleans won week one against Pittsburgh 22-15. They beat Houston in week two 38-31. Stallions beat the New Jersey Generals. 27 to 10 in week one, and then they beat the Memphis Showboats 42 to 2 last week. On third down so far this year, the Breakers are 38.5%, while the on fourth down they are 100% one for one. Stallions on third down 55%, and they have yet attempted a fourth down. Birmingham is favored by six. I got the Stallions winning. I got the Breakers covering the six. I think this is going to be a pretty close game. And then they get under the 48 and a half. Next up, we have the three versus four in the South. Two winless teams, both 0 and 2, the Memphis Showboats and the Houston Gamblers. While Memphis lost to Philadelphia in week one, 27-23, they got stomped by Birmingham last week, 42-2. Where the Gamblers got beat by Michigan in week one, 29-13, and then versus the Breakers last week, 20-3. And the showboats are 31.8% on third down, 50% on fourth down, two out of four. Well, the gamblers are 44.4% on third down, and they haven't attempted a fourth down yet. The so Lions game is Memphis by one. I'm giving the one to. Hmm. Ah, that's a tough one. You know what? I'm giving the one to Houston. I got Houston minus one. I got them covering and taking over in the 43 and a half. I like the gamblers. I think they're going to go ahead and pull that one out. Next up, we have the three versus four in the North Division. We have the 0-2 Pittsburgh Maulers versus the 1-1 one one Philadelphia Stars. The Maulers lost week one to the Breakers, 22-15, and then last week to New Jersey, 20-3. Um, while Philadelphia beat Memphis, 27-23, in week one, in week two, they lost to Michigan 24 to 10. The Maulers on third down 25%, while the Maulers on fourth down is one out of five, so 20%. The Stars on third down 45.8%, and they are three out of four on fourth down. That's 75%. Philadelphia is favored by six. I got them winning covering and under on the 44 and a half. And in the final game, we have the 1-1 New Jersey Generals versus the 2-0 Michigan Panthers. One versus two in the North Division. New Jersey lost to Birmingham 27-10 in Week 1. Beat Pittsburgh 20-3 in Week 2. While the Panthers beat uh, Memphis 27-23 in Week 1. And beat Philadelphia 24-10 in Week 2. The Generals are 40% on third down. 33% on fourth down, two for six. While the Panthers are 8-20 for 40% on third down. They have yet attempted a fourth down. Michigan is favored by four. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 44 and a half. So I got Birmingham, Houston, Philadelphia, and Michigan all winning. All the home teams winning on this one. That is week three of the USFL. Stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the divisional round of the AFL, XFL um, playoffs. And then also for the IndyCar preview and the NASCAR previews this week. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a sippy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.